you know, Mirko, you know, I'm real, real psyched on the team. I'm psyched on, you know, everything we have coming out. It's still new. It's still real new. You know, we're still kind of catching up with a lot of things, just trying to get everything out there and get everything dialed in. You know, there's still a lot going on behind the scenes that's, you know, taking up a lot of time. You know, right now it's just getting the bikes dialed in, and, that, and that's our goal. It's progression. It's been basically a year, pretty much, we've been doing this. I'm real amped. I'm real psyched on it. You know, just let things happen. The, you know, the current team right now, all the way across the board, I think, covers everything. Um, Rytel, he does a little bit of everything. Not a lot of guys know about him. I think he's one of those guys that's, when somebody sees him ride, they're just inspired immediately. He's amazing to watch. Maybe the second day of being in Greenville, we went to Mirror's Warehouse, filmed some clips there. Uh, went pretty good, and then we went to Fusion, and uh, which is a little skateboard park that BMXs aren't allowed in somehow. Steven only really pushed our way in there. It was fun, a lot of fun, and then I hurt my wrist and been out for like three days. But now I try to ride today. Didn't go so good either. <laughs> so hoping it's gonna get better. I guess just getting to know everybody better has just been, it's been awesome. Laird, I, you know, I ride with him every day, so, you know, we've been friends for a long, long time, and there's, like I said, a little bit of everything, which, uh, which makes me real happy. For me, riding isn't as a natural as maybe some like Mira or Hula or somebody like that. I feel I have to work and earn my tricks a little more than some of the other riders. So I get frustrated quite a bit, especially if, if it's a trick I know I can do and I don't do it, and if I don't quite, accomplish that on the basis I want, I get pretty frustrated. I have a tendency to yell at my bike a little bit. When I was younger, I used to toss my bike around and break parts. I quickly realized that that wasn't the way to go, but yelling at it made me feel good. It didn't do any harm to anybody. I've actually calmed down quite a bit in my older age. When I was a lot younger, I used to yell quite a bit. Gutler, you know, Gutler always, always stepping it up. I ride with Gutler a lot now. It's just, it's cool to see, you know, what everybody's capable of. Straight after Christmas, I was back in Australia, and I just rode with my friends back there. And then headed over here end of February and just started riding. I've done a few little trips out to California. Just been in Greenville, just riding with Dave, riding with the boys, just having a good time.
2007 riding wise, you know, I'm gonna hit all the dude tours. I'm gonna hit X Games. It's gonna be fun this year, actually. This is probably the first year where I'm excited for it, but I'm not too worried about it. It's gonna be just go out, have a good time, ride, and let things happen. New Zealand contest was sick, man. You know, it was just a, an amazing vibe. X Air is always an amazing contest to go to. It was such a fun comp, and the finals just got ridiculous. Dave and Spinner definitely deserved the win in second place. Like, those two rode insane. And I'll tell you what, I lost my shoulder out in the second run. And, dude, I was bummed because I was like, man, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to sit the rest of this out. And I'm just getting into it. And, you know, I just said, screw it, man. I'm going to go for it, see if it works, and just turned it into a positive. It was a good contest. I liked it. <laughs> It's amazing because a few guys that have went for it, there's guys that wanted it, you know, real bad. And Spinner just took it. You know, Spinner, obviously, 1080, you know, triple whips, four whips, five whips, whatever he's doing. Uh, you know, it's great to see people push it in different directions. And, and I think that's the way, you know, I see things in the sport. It's like it should be. If everybody did the same thing, it wouldn't be very fun to... So far, this is my first year, just traveling around, went overseas twice, never left the country before. Now I have U.S. Airway frequent flyer miles. Perfect all-around team to me. I'm psyched. You know, with Nigel on street, Rob Wise, street, Park Dirt, whatever. He, he's amazing as well. If they took it away, they would stop the pulse. Start revolts, chaos with no end results. Emotional status, anger to depression. Relapse on the numbness, return to aggression. Civil disorder, hopes turn to fell status. Governmental shutdown and our motives of passion. Creativity kept only as inner thoughts. Controlled ideals, productivity, box. And the scared left useless, the weak left clueless. The truth will refuse its rise and die for the music. All Hell, the stare and hi hat. Shot the DJ's homeboy, I don't buy that. Who stopped the music and who cut the mic? Who is left dead inside the day the music died? And the repeated messages played on airways while we whispered in the cypress underneath the stairways. And being caught in the result of death and hell in the burnt stench of records, CDs, and cassettes. And the only unit we found was found underneath. And the years went by as we built other streets. Continue to drive and perfect our speech. Teach the youth to prepare them for the day that they meet. The giants of tyrant. The killers of music, death pillars of melody, making harmonies a felony. Your love only cool and enhanced the soul. Music came religion.
nation and respected as no. And as they go, bust farther below. The more that we learn of their plans of control, the more that we build on the stories that we're told. The more secrets passed to our own more exposed. The more and more info we got became gold. Day to day riding for me is what it's all about for sure. I mean, I think most guys can answer that probably pretty similar. Riding with your friends, no pressure, hanging out. That that to me is obviously the best. I mean, right here in this warehouse, I, I, I love it. Coming here, put on something good to ride to and push each other, ride with your friends, goof off. When Dave's on his game in his warehouse on his bike, it's something to watch. Just one run, like you dropped in and did a, like a 10-foot air on this 9-foot quarter at his house. Watching him ride that is the coolest thing I ever get to witness. Aside from me being the one to, you know, back and promote Mirico, I think everybody else has it in their mind as well. And then they travel, they shoot video. They're having a good time, and it's just a great relationship. I think it's all about riding a bike and progressing and, and making yourself happy. I think in the end, that's what you got to do.